hello everyone welcome to my channel asp.net core today i'm going to show you uh, how to host and deploy asp.net core websites so first of all create a website in visual studio uh, and uh, open your visual studio in administrator mode run as administrator okay so now after open your visual studio uh, you have to create a new website or you uh, new project uh, so just asp.net core web application and the application name is related to your deploy and host applications that is deploy app okay deploy apps is an, an application name and the application is model view controller and just after that waiting for some times your uh, visual studio will prepare now after that you have to uh, first of all create debug and test your application and just after that uh, add uh, iis into your local system because uh, you want to run your application without any uh, without visual studio so you just uh, install iis that is here internet information service ftp ftp extensibility ftp services and web management tools iis 6 management console and iis management scripts and tools okay so one by one uh, to add all these things uh, to necessary things to add uh, in uh, into your system So I add all these things in uh, related to IIS. So just add it and complete and just click on OK button just after add it. Now the next thing is related to the security like the bank, like the basic security set, uh, set, uh, centralized SSL certificate support. IIS client certificate mapping authentication IP security and click to OK button after uh, applying changes must to restart your computer if uh, any requirements uh, otherwise uh, must to connect your internet connection because uh, some windows updates features uh, required to apply all these features so uh, add internet internet connection if required okay uh, otherwise you have to make some changes into in your applications by your IIS okay so there is apply changes wait for some times because it taking a uh, few seconds and a uh, few minutes to uh, apply some changes in a windows So there is, uh, I think, too much take times. Now, if after successfully installed IIS into your system, just uh, open your run command. Just uh, type run uh, and open your run window and type inetmgr. That is Internet Manager, uh, Internet Service Manager. Is, is your internet information service that is IIS manager INET MGR and just right click on your site in your left panel and add a website that is the site name that is related to your site info that is my website if you want to change application pool then select application pool and uh, in later session I will uh, I will show you uh, what is the application pooling where your application run actually so our application pool is default application pool provided so just click on ok button and uh, if you if you want to something uh, if you want to change in application pooling and you want to create your application pool then just add your pooling otherwise make uh, that is a default application pool so uh, there is the default application pool to select it here otherwise your application will create in oven pooling that is my application pool and in physical path you have to select 
internet information uh, service in your c drive that is inet pub first of all select inet pub folder and in inf inf folder you have uh, ww root folder and in in which you can create a new for a directory that is my website okay just click on it and your um, assigning port is 80 host name your oops your physical path is not selected so just again to select your physical path it's must to select your accurate path in your uh, uh, in your website in uh, IIS okay their authentication uh, authorization and authentication is clear now the host name is alpha dot my website dot com and that URL is assigned to the local host that is 127.0.01 that is the local host and just open your notepad in administrator mode and change something in your host file and the host file will located at system32 file and in system32 we have where drivers at set etc folder and host uh, okay now you have to add it here 127.0.0.1 and the application also add it here that is uh, alpha.mywebsite.com okay and now after that default pooling is connection it uh, it is like here okay uh, the dot net CLR version is dot net managed code just uh, in your default pooling is the dot net CLR version is actually core version but uh, you have to set no managed code okay so identity is a uh, default is application identity pool in later session I will uh, change that now the site is my website just right click on it and save changes now after that you have to uh, publish your website just uh, before publishing must to uh, change the environment variable that is production because when you publish your website on any uh, hosting server then must to do this now after that you have to click right click on any uh, your project name and click to publish button and select folder because you want to publish your website or um, your project uh, on your local web server so just click choose path where you are exist in inetpub and in the ww root directory okay so the path is my website and if you want to edit the path also you have to select new edit rename and delete uh, that features so you have to select edit and next if you want to uh, delete existing uh, files then check the checkboxes if your application have the database the send select that database and save okay and the deployment uh, mode is framework dependent otherwise self-contained okay uh, so the target runtime is portable uh, I mean to say that you have to run your uh, application in any web servers like Linux um, and any others explore there is just 
manage website oops getting an error 500.19 internal server error because your uh, machine does not uh, configure your uh, microsoft hosting builder so just to add it uh, uh, just open your browser and open your host ASP.NET code on Windows with IIS and download that tools must to require that is yeah direct download current version dot net uh, current dot net core hosting bundle installer direct download uh, you have to download I already download it so just run it and uh, after that uh, your machine is just click on repair button okay after uh, after clicking on the repair you will see your application will run successfully just right click on it and manage website browse now your application will run successfully thank you very much for watching this video